Has my dad left for work already? Yep. What were you arguing about before? You hitting the Melda. I don't think your father's taken this as seriously as he should. In fact, I think he's secretly pleased with what you did. I said I was sorry. But that's not good enough. At least that's what I think. I'm not too sure about your father. Did he mention my appointment to the opticians? No. Well, I hope he hasn't forgotten. He promised he'd come with me to collect my lenses. The trouble you've caused, you're lucky we're still letting you get them. I've ordered them now and everything. Well, you should have thought of that before you started on your vigilante impression. That's not fair. <sighs> well, I wouldn't worry too much. Your father probably ignored what I say and let you get them anyway. <sighs> I didn't think he'd be seeing you this morning, considering the time you staggered in last night waking us all up. Oh, of course, go and see some fellas round for them. I wouldn't want you fixing my car in that state. Morning, champ. Get off your yeti. Adele hitting a meld is no joking matter, you know. No, but it's exactly what you deserved. Nice one, I've not. No matter what Imelda's has put our Anthony through, violence isn't the solution. You should have stood up to her when she first started picking on him. Well, I don't hear any more talk like that, especially not in front of... <sighs> more than love. What Steve meant was... To... OK, he's right. No, he isn't. You've dealt with this in exactly the right way. Hitting people isn't the answer, is it, Adele? Nothing else has worked. Well, I don't want anyone in this family making anything worse than it already is. If Imelda's divvy brothers want to come round here, let them. Steve! I'm the one who's caused all this, and I'm the only one who can stop it. <sighs> What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I don't want this going any further. Jeremy! Make sure you get plenty of studying done before you go to that optician's. I will. So, what do you fancy doing today, love? Nothing. Anthony! Do you want me to have a word with him? No, thanks. You two have done enough already. I'd better go. I'll be home for my dinner. OK. Hey, and don't worry about me, lad. We'll be fine. You were right. You think I'm a win for not standing up for yourself, don't you? Of course I don't. You were right not to let them girls would have made things worse. You don't really believe that. I do. There's no way you let yourself get bullied by a pair of girls when you were my age. My other one's right, I'm just a freak. No, you're not. Then how else would I get myself into this mess? Look, you're not a freak or a wimp or anything like that. But if you keep putting yourself down, other people will too. You know, you need to stand up for yourself. I'm not saying you'd have to get into a fight. Just be yourself and stop worrying about what other people think. That's what I used to say. You can fight back. It's not about that. If people think you're an easy target, then they'll take advantage. But if they think you'll stand up to them, then they won't. Really? Yeah. I'm not saying you'd have to get yourself into loads of fights, because even if you win, you still get hurt. Just stop letting people walk all over you. Well, from now on, I'm not going to let that Pedro and Melda push me around anymore. Good lad. Books. He keeps them at the bottom of his wardrobe. I've seen him hiding them. I wasn't. I was looking for his walking them. He must have took it with him. All right. Don't be so touchy. Yeah. 
Oh, I don't believe it. It's just a little meth we wanted to wear it with. He's at it. Too right, he has. Have you come to apologise for what your sister done to Mel? No. Then you should have brought her with you, cos I'm going to make you pay for it. Don't need all Adele. I can stand up for myself. Ooh, standing up for yourself? Dead hard. <laughs> As if. What are you going to do with that? Give us a few brand twirls. <laughs> Fed up you two picking on me, it's gonna stop. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> you haven't got the bottle. Wait for you. Where have you been? I'm for a little walk. Well, keep on walking. We're gonna go and meet your mother from where she's getting off early. Hey, what do you think? What about your big sister? What about her? Look at her face. What about her face? Great. Don't look any different. Contacts. Oh yeah, they look great. You can't see them. Come on, let's go and meet your mum. I've got some apologising to do. We had a bit of an argument earlier on. I need the toilet. Where's number ten? Give <laughs> <laughs> that. Must be one of Santa's little helpers' houses. <laughs> Here's the Murrays, number nine. Car's here. Must be out. What do you reckon? Take a puree. Eh? Might be a long one. Sorry about this morning. Oh, you were so wrong, Marty. Yeah, I realise that now. I mean, we're trying to bring these kids up right, aren't we? Yeah. So if they need telling off or criticising, then we've got to do it, haven't we? I know. What did annoy you was the fact that you kept overriding me, telling me that what Adele did was right. No, I didn't think she was right. I, I just thought you went a bit over the top, at all. I'm entitled to. Am I their mother or not? Yeah, of course you are. And I'm sorry if I spoke out of turn. Okay. Let's leave it now, but just remember that in the future, eh? Who are they? It's a I think we should tell me dad. Yeah, come on. <laughs> dad? What's the matter? There's four lads jumping up and down in our Steve's car. What? Honest, isn't there, aunt? How old are they? Oh, 18, 19. Just jumping up and down on it? Yeah. Cheeky get. Hey! What are you playing at? Marty. Are you Marty Murray? Might be, why? I'll tell you why. Cos I'm Paul Clough, Imelda's brother, and I've come to see him. And here. What about? I'll tell you what about. Because she's been picking on our kid, and he tried to smash her face in. I wasn't picking on her, she was robbing from the garage. Adele, open the door. Take Anthony with you. Listen, mate. It's your Imelda who started all this, earning that page one. You've been bullying my lad. I don't think so. I'm telling you. Well, I'm telling you, he's got it coming. He smacked out Imelda with an iron bar. Is that true? See, I told you, he needs a good hiding himself. Yeah, look, listen, lads, what's gone on can't be helped. I mean, he said he's done it. And it won't happen again, it was a one-off. Is she all right? No, she's bleeding not. Come on now, lads, eh? This is getting out of hand. It's him who's out of hand. No, he's not. He's just a decent lad who stood up for himself. 
Go in the house, son. Stay there. Oh, I'm telling you, it's nowhere near finished. I think you better go before we call the police. You should have thought about that before he went round hitting innocent little girls. Innocent? You are joking. What's going on here? It's nothing to do with you, mate, so beat it. Dad, what's going on? And Anthony belted that Imelda one, so these will come round and the bounce. I wish someone would give me £200 for nothing. Well, here you are, then. And you can stick it. <laughs> oh! What's up? The money's a fighting. Jerome, now! <laughs> Grandad, not get lost before you really get it. Grandad, yo, cheeky little bugger. <laughs> That's enough. It's going us nowhere. Come on, any time, any place. Leave it, kid. It's too many. Keep her and that little brat away from Aramilda. Otherwise, you'll need more than your fists next time. Don't think this is finished. I don't believe this. All this because Anthony stood up for himself. What's going on? Who were they? I'll tell you later. Are you OK, Ray? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took me back a bit, that. Look, is everyone all right? Yeah, it's all right. No problem. Thanks, Jay. Is Anthony all right? He ran into the house when the fighting started. Right, son. You told me to get her now. Look what happened. It's okay, son. No, it's not okay. You'll never leave me alone now. Anthony. Even you couldn't fight them, and you're my dad. I can't fight everyone, son. They'll never stop picking on me now. They'll never leave me alone. I wish he was dead. <laughs> 